only three. I told you that. <laughs> He's three. He's obsessed with Spider-Man 3 at the minute. For those of you not familiar with the plotline of Spider-Man 3, let me enlighten you. Good Spider-Man wears a red outfit. But when he's being bad Spider-Man, he wears a black outfit. And when he's bad Spider-Man, he punches his girlfriend. I'm like, mate. So I stop the DVD. I'm like, the worst thing a man can ever do is hit a woman. You must never hit a woman. Have you got that? He's like, yes. A few days later, we're out having lunch with some mates, and he starts up. The worst thing a man can ever do is hit a woman. And all the guys go, that is right. It's the worst thing a man can ever do. But Spider-Man hit his girlfriend, but that was because he was black. <laughs> stammer your way out of that one without sounding like a fucking racist. And I'm not a racist, I was a Scot married to a Jew, we could have been rich! <laughs> it's actually quite tricky being married to a Jew when you're an anti-Semite. <laughs> I'm not really an anti-Semite, I'm a Jew hater. <laughs> so that. My ex-husband thinks I'm an anti-Semite, right? But it's not that, I just fucking hate him. It doesn't matter if he's Catholic, Protestant, Buddhist, Muslim, he's still a cock. <laughs> Although obviously being Jewish, he's not a complete cock. <laughs> <laughs> and it's weird, because like, I was married for 10 years, and you know when you first get together with someone and you like, have a bit of a tussle, and that's foreplay. And then after a tip, 10 years, and then like, yeah, have a bit of a tussle, and that's to see who gets to lie underneath. <laughs> do the bare minimum. <laughs> and I thought I was getting more adventurous in bed, I did. Because like in my 20s, I was like, spurt or swallow, spurt or swallow, spurt or swallow, right? And then in my 30s, with two kids and a house to run, I'm like, swallow or wash the sheets. <laughs> I fucking hate housework. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And then, <laughs> my parents were very upset when I split with my husband. My mum and dad aren't together anymore, but they were very upset when I split up. And my mum and dad, they're not together as I said, but they occasionally they'll still bump into each other in Edinburgh. And then it's a race to the phone to get across their version of events. So that I know who the nice parent is. <laughs> mum called them, was I bumped into your father today, it was really embarrassing, said, that sexy underwear shop. You know that sexy underwear shop, that sexy Anne Frank shop. <laughs> Unless Edinburgh's catering for a niche market I'm unaware of. <laughs> hiding in the attic range. <laughs> Featuring Hessian thongs. <laughs> Silent vibrator. <laughs> and I know I shouldn't complain about my parents, because I keep hearing all these stories about celebrities who were fiddled with his kids, like Roseanne Barr and Billy Connolly, and I sometimes think, right, that maybe if my dad had touched me up, I might be a wee bit more successful. <laughs> They've let me down. You don't like that joke, do you? <laughs> Neither does my dad. 